Welcome to Kazifu Gaming. In this video, we will be going over the guide for the present job as part of the auto shop missions. Each of these auto shop missions have two prep missions and one finale. The first prep for this one is the inside man. This is where you have to go pick the little D up and take okay, him to now. his contact and then from his okay, contact he must go to the gang he's going to do something by the gang and then um, you need to escape from the gang or kill the people who are chasing you and drop him by the police station and then drop his car by the auto shop okay so first make your way to Lil D. He will either be in Richmond or in Burton. When he's in Richmond, he will go to the Vagos. And when he's in Burton, he will go to the Polars. So you get into his Remus or Sylvia is 13. I know a lot of people don't like using the GTA name for cars. I quite enjoy it. So you take him to his contact first. In Del Perro. The other one will be by the car was close to the shoe shop. So then he goes to his contact, you wait for him while he handles his business. And my best advice is to reverse into these places just so you can get out easier. Okay. Once he's done with his associate, you go down to the waypoint. And when you get there, you reverse in there as well, because here is where a shootout will happen. And you need to escape as fast as possible, because you don't want to die, and then there's a whole mission fail. And yeah, just to be effective, reverse in. And then throw stickies all around you. There's cars around you, you can throw stickies on that. There's a door. Just throw stickies everywhere. Once Lil D has done his business, he will get back into the car. You can detonate your stickies then only. Now you need to escape the Vagos. You can either escape them or kill them. I prefer killing them either with the RPG or sticky bombs. And then you go deliver Lil D at the police station. Take his car to the auto shop. Mission done and ten thousand dollars is yours. For the second mission is the access point. You will have to steal a trailer with a ramp in it, and for this you need a truck. If you don't have a Phantom Wedge, don't stress. Either by Richard's Majestic or the Los Santos River, there will be trucks for you to use. So just make your way over there. And once you get there, don't engage in the shootout. Unless it's your first time, there's a nice Terminator reference. Um, but you can avoid the shooting, just get into the truck, connect to the trailer, and then the cops will start chasing you. Or you will get the two star wanted level. And it's very easy to evade the cops with the truck. You just have to stay out of their sight. I unfortunately did not follow my own advice for this mission, but it's easy to lose them. You must just go in zigzag formation. See where the cops are and avoid that road, that particular road. They will continue chasing you, but just go in zigzags all the time until they lose you. Eventually they will. Oh, there's the cops though, they're still chasing you, still zigzags. And now they will eventually lose you. Now you need to take the trailer to the drop-off location which is close to the prison. Okay, just drive until the drop it off. You can either hold um, the right button on your D-pad to release the truck or you can get out of the truck and request your car. Once you leave the area, the mission will say passed and then you will receive your $10,000. Make your spawn location the auto shop so it's easier to travel back to it. And for this loadout, we will use the Hustler loadout. Because we're going to need 
um, the machine pistol. Like I always say, use car with louvers, so it's either the Dominator ASP, the Dominator GTT, or the Zest RR that you can use with this mission. I like to use the this particular Mustang. I think they call it the Cobra, if I'm not mistaken. Not too well with cars, but yeah. I use this Mustang to do the mission. This is a rail livery on the car, that is why I... I'm having it on my car. You have to make your way now to the prison. So just drive to the prison. And then you have to go to over this ramp. Into the prison. Pull hard brakes. Turn around. Drive. And then you can pump this policeman over if you want to. And then you go into this little corner here, there's a garbage bin that serves as a ramp, you can go over. And then the first two guys will just be around the corner, kill them. Please make sure that you always snack up and you always armor up in this specific section because the cops is very OP here. Kill the second guy. Make your way around the prison, go down here, turn right here, yes, left, straight, right again, and then in the corner will be the other two ones. My health was about to replenish, so I had to take care of my snacks and my armor first, so that one guy got the chance to escape, but not to worry, you will be able to catch him. Just follow this route. There you go. Okay. You will always be hiding in that little corner. Okay, now you go out. You have to shoot some panels to open the gates of the prison. Because you have to go rescue Lodi. So there's the panel. Shoot the first panel. Gate open. Second panel is just there. The red arrow on top, so that panel will open, it open. This one also has a panel which you must shoot, but sometimes it opens and then you can just go through. Now to stop the bus, the bus won't stop even if you pull next to him, in front of him. You have to kill the driver. So you have to shoot the driver, and then once the driver is dead, the bus will stop. Well, they will then get out of the bus, into your car. Please be very careful with the cops, you can lose your life there. Now you want to make your way back to the prison. So drive back to where you came. And then I want to take you, want you to take a ride to Martin Madrazo's mansion or house, wherever that is. Just drive down this road, avoid the cops, trick them into thinking you will go right and then you go left. Always works. Then you go right here, go left, right again, left, straight down, you will get to a construction yard, jump over here, it's a little ramp, and then through the tunnel of the story mode game, then drive to there to evade the cops, because the cops don't follow you in the tunnels, they don't follow you under railways, and they don't follow you on mountains. So just stay in there, when you come to an intersection, turn right, go down the tunnels, you have now lost the cops, and now you can move forward, mission done basically, all you now need to do is go deliver level D, like I said previously, the most time consuming thing in these missions is driving from point A to point B, you, and for this week you will get 315,000, Definitely worth the money. And there, Bob's your uncle. Mission done. Please leave a like and consider subscribing if you made it this far in the video. Thank you.